Jim Halbert presents automatic blast gates for the Ultimate Hobby Shop. This 6 inch center pull blast gate is constructed of 3 quarter inch MDF and is lined with Formica on the inside. The slider is constructed of 1 quarter inch tempered masonite and also covered with Formica to prevent sticking and warping. A 6 inch PVC SD coupling cut in half and glued into the frame is recommended for easy PVC ductwork connection. The unique link system with the center pull was invented by Jim Howard in 1995. Many people have used this gate design. Todd Crow has adapted it for pneumatic use as shown at his Crow's Nest site. The center pull feature eliminates the jamming problems caused by pulling from one side. The links reduce overall size, allow small adjustments, and smooth operation with various actuators including electric or pneumatic. A commercial 6-inch automatic blast gate can cost $300 to $400. Either of these do-it-yourself models we'll show you today can be built for less than $75. In our first example, we're using a Harbor Freight actuator. It's our EC600HF auto gate. We're using a Harbor Freight cordless drill or similar with torque limiter. In this particular example, we're using a Harbor Freight $15 18-volt 3-8 inch drill with torque limiter and a few additional parts are used. Use the DC transformer that comes with the drill to power the gate up and down. The batteries are not used and advanced electronic experience is needed for this particular model. There are many ways to do the controls for the top and bottom stops. Check out the robot sites for suggestions. A higher voltage transformer can also be used for faster speed if needed. The next one is a solenoid actuator, EC600S auto gate using a Dormeyer solenoid 3000 M2 or similar. The solenoid used has about 200 to 250 ounces of pull. A minimum of electrical experience is required. Just connect the two lead wires from the solenoid to your machine's on and off switch. When the machine is turned on, the solenoid opens the gate. When the machine and cyclone are turned off, the slider falls by gravity. The slider will not fall if the cyclone is running. For my use, I have found this is not a problem. Select either a 120 volt or a 230 volt solenoid to match the machine's voltage. Either model can be wired to turn on your cyclone with a snap action or reed switch and a 24 volt coil contactor at the cyclone. Mount the switch to activate when the gate is opened. These projects are not recommended for those with no electrical experience. Disconnect all power when working with electrical equipment. Also, as a special note, use only 6-inch ductwork for the cyclone all the way to the machine. Do not step down the ductwork. A 4-inch step-down duct from 6 inches may reduce your CFM up to 50%. SD35 PVC ductwork is far superior to metal duct for ease of installation. No leaks, and it's up to 50% cheaper. There is no danger from static as claimed by some obsolete articles and misinformed people. See Mythbusters number 20 and Rod Cole's article. If you are concerned about static discharge, spiral wrap the exterior of the duct with a single strand of doorbell wire and ground one in. It makes no difference if the wire is insulated or not. 